Friday here. I got my little companion buddy. We're walking to work. That's mine and Roxy's water. If you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But today I am running the rotary rake for the very first time. I hooked it up and put it on the Massey tractor. Um, it's a learning curve for me. But the rake is really awesome. Um, it's our first ever rotary rake that we've used on our own hay. It's kind of been a learning curve to be completely honest. Uh, we, when we raked hay when Sean was here from the Massey Ferguson team, we learned that our hay needed to be put up a little bit wetter. Ideally, this is allowing us to start our day sooner. So instead of waiting until 10, 11 o'clock to start raking, we're starting to rake at like 8.39, which means we can get into the field faster, which means we might make it home a little bit sooner before midnight. So let's get to raking. I've already started some windrows. I just tried to get knocked out so that I could hook up the Massey Ferguson tractor back to the baler and knock it out. best hay we might have all year. That's mine and Roxy's water. I'm getting spoiled having Keaton here. Just bailing. I have brought both cameras over the drone's been over. Keaton did a bunch of droning for me and a bunch of content stuff today. So I'm hoping that today's video is a little bit different setup than you guys have been seeing. And plus, I just don't have a, lot to, a whole lot to like discuss, talk about. I mean, it's hay every single day for us uh, in some format. Although I didn't do a whole lot of videoing yesterday. It was just very trying day. Like the hay was just a trying day. And when that happens, everybody's tempers get a little bit frustrated. Uh, I got a little bit short with Keaton, and then Jason got short with both of us, and that's just the reality of farming. We're not going to share that. Um, but you all know what happens, I mean, obviously. Um, we're going to take a break this weekend. We are not going to do straw until Monday. The wheat is too wet. So, we got a few days off. 
which really is not, there's never really a day off in farming, but we get to take a few days off from this, and maybe by then our, our new might be here just in time to start straw. I don't know. Terrence was trying to figure that out for us, but we haven't heard that. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the Massey content lately. We are pretty, pretty excited, pretty proud to um, be teamed up with Massey Ferguson for the 2023 hay season. We are incredibly blessed by each one of you guys for being part of our farm story um, with the hay and the, just the everyday life. I think he's going to come jumping with me. He brought the skid loader down so Jason could go home and get out of the truck. Which having Keaton has been like a godsend, but it's also been a learning curve for both Jason and I for the last three years. It's just been him and I doing it. And with an extra person, it does kind of, it is nice. So he's going to jump in with me. Gets to load some hay today. Can y'all see her? She's making her hay debut. My window's dirty. I guess I need to take that home and wash it. Maybe that'll be a weekend project getting her all cleaned back up. Shiny again. I miss the stroke counter because the stroke counter part of the didn't work but I'm missing being able to know how many bales and tell you guys how many bales we bail every day. I have to reach out to Ag Excellence and see if we can get a, get a new one. So this is pretty cool. All of it's touch screen. You can change the settings, everything. Um, I just leave it on that one for now. This actually has a camera connect, so we could just do away with all that, but we don't have the plug for it yet. It's supposed to be here before we start uh, well, when the baler comes. So we got another piece of equipment coming. We're really excited about that, but I haven't really talked about it because it's not here yet. Hopefully we still got hay to bale by that time, but. pick up hay now. Keen's been learning how to run the semis just in the fields. I think they did that yesterday. Worked together. We worked on that yesterday. Him and Jason kind of, or maybe that was this morning. I don't know. I wasn't there to run the semi, so Keaton was learning how. And he, he knows how to drive um, a manual. Um, our, that little mini truck that we run around with, it's on the, it drives on the right and you shift left-handed. I told Keen, I said, if you can shift left-handed and clutch that thing, you should be able to drive the semis. So, he's pretty proud of himself. He's learning a lot this summer. He's always been with us, but now he really is like, he's doing the hands-on side of it. It's always something fun, right? another field done so I think we have about 250 acres left to go a first cut well they tried they started, but uh, it's still too wet, I think. So this is where we're going to bale straw at starting Monday, I think is the plan. And uh, it's close enough to home, which is really, really convenient and nice. You can see our barns right over there. Yep, you can see the barns. Just the top of the corn. But it's really nice that we don't have to mow or rake. We just come in and bail those lovely little windrows they've got going for us so 
we'll be doing straw before we know it. So, we'll see you soon. Um, sis, Mama's gonna have to clutch and uh, drive here. Your girl is tarred. She's tired. Um, we're just picking up the hay that uh, I finished bailing yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a little hay dust or something going on. But, um, we're just gonna pick up the rest of this hay. Since we're not doing straw until Monday, we are just doing the rest of what needs to be done. And I'm hoping that I can go home and just chillax. Is that still a word? Um, just kind of chill out, catch up on content, uh, laundry, maybe some sleep. We gotta, we gotta move, kids. I'm tired too, babe. It's getting there. Three bays left. How many you got? I'm gonna get this one. It be, should be around 4,800. That's including what we just brought in. 4,800. All right, I'm going home. Fix some supper. What do you want? I guess it doesn't. I don't know what Keaton got out. So. Five thousand bills. Hey, you might get the fertilizer bill paid, huh? Mm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. All right. I'll see you after a while. It usually does. I got some broken bells. I'm going to come down here and salvage in the morning, though. Hey, don't you run off with that. You put that. No. I need that. Okay. Well, load's home. He's got a thousand bales to put away, and... I'm gonna go home and make you some dinner. Call it a night. We'll see you guys.